You know, the last few years, automakers have been really hitting their stride from safety innovations to the latest in tech and even styling, all of it now on display during the Chicago Auto Show. Nick Miles is there giving us a bit of a preview before the show opens this weekend. Good morning, Nick. Hey, good morning, Brad. Good to see you. Chicago Auto Show opening to the public tonight, and it's going to be a great show. There is a million square feet of car carpet to be shown, and a thousand cars sitting on top of that carpet. New things that you could see in your driveway in the next year, and lots of adventure material going on here. But there's also a good portion of American luxury, and behind me is the latest piece of that. It's from Genesis. It's their very first SUV. It's called the GV. 80. And look at those quad headlights, the diamond-shaped grille. They're reflected in the wheels as well. This vehicle will start around $50,000 for luxury. That's impressive. The V, by the way, means versatility in this vehicle. Quilted leather insides, three rows. It has a beautiful air vent that goes across the front of the vehicle. A lack of switches gives it this clean and very refreshed look. And on the outside, it truly looks like a status luxury SUV. Hyundai showing off a hybrid version of their Sonata. Brad, last year my car of the year was a Hyundai Sonata. This year they've come out with a hybrid version. And check this roof out. It has a solar roof on the vehicle. That'll give you up to 700 miles of extra range on this hybrid. Inside all of the latest Hyundai tech, it's very well put together. 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. And they've introduced three years of maintenance every time you buy a brand new Hyundai. So great for your wallet there. Check out this from Jeep. It's called the Mahal. It's a Gladiator, which is their truck, the only convertible truck on the market, by the way. This will go for around $45,000. It's a desert runner, which means that you can drive fast in the sand on the desert, which is my kind of driving, but it's a true Jeep. It can do crawling, off-roading. At the same time, it's be used for the whole family as well. Now, if we want to talk about cars that are affordable, we want to talk about buying something that's under $20,000. Check out this Nissan Frontier. It gets a new V6 engine, best horsepower in its class. 310 horsepower. Um, Toyota rolling out a brand new Highlander trim, the XSE. This vehicle is now sportier and sexier. And of course, it starts at under $32,000, three rows, and it's Toyota, which means it'll last forever. The minivan segment has the exact a new Pacifica is here, looks so meaty and so cool, but inside a new trim level called the uh, Pinnacle. Also the Marquis is on the floor here, the first electric Mustang. And something for you, Brad, I think you want to drive home. Check out the new Ford GT Carbon Fiber Edition, only $750,000. Huh, that's nothing on a week's car payment, right? Well, you know, I, I probably got to stand in line behind you. I mean, it's a hard enough car to get. Make it out of carbon fiber. <laughs> Was it weigh like four pounds with 800 horse? I don't know. Yeah. There's 660 horsepower, $750,000. Let me tell you, my friend, I'll give you my place in line. You're, you're in for that. Well, there's room for two. It's only a two-seater, and I have five dogs, Brad. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, right. <laughs> Nick, thanks so much.